Welcome to the Raw Quiz Show, where the impossible stays impossible because we like to manage expectations. Joining me tonight is Jack Cornwall. Hello. Aaron Phelps. Hey. Drew Tavares. Hello there. And Omar Marani. What's happening? <laughs> is, Drew, is Drew Scottish? <laughs> I, yeah, I fu- I fully expected a Tavares. General Kenobi, <laughs> M- Mick Tavares. <laughs> I'm Scottish on me dad's side. <laughs> Mexican on me mum's. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, with that, just weird. Opening way. <laughs> tonight we have twenty questions of varying quality, uh, hopefully all of the finest quality. Uh, but uh, let's get right into it because I don't think I have any real announcements or anything. Nobody's got no, anything. To no random us. quote from Byron. No, no sponsors this <laughs> video. N- nothing, uh, nothing out of the ordinary except the show itself, which is sometimes enough out of the ordinary. Our first question is a science question for 10 sword points. What is the oldest known dinosaur? Omar. Omar, what you got? It is the... Wow, how do I pronounce this? The... <laughs> Say it, Omar! <laughs> the That's... Mibirosaurus Rothby. Jack. That is not what I have. Jack. It's a... Uh... Herarosaurus? <laughs> no. Uh, Aaron. <laughs> Nyasaurus. Yes, yes, that's the one. Wait, how old was that one, Aaron? Aaron Tony. Just, just... 243 million. <laughs> how old is that one? It's the oldest, don't question. <laughs> I was just curious because mine so... popped up for oldest. Yeah, so did oh, mine. Oh, you know what? Mine's Africa's oldest. All right. All right. <laughs> Why would they the, even hit, like... The fossil, it looks like, was found in, like, a 231 million year old rock. Yeah. The one that Aaron has, I have 243 million year old fossil. Yeah. So, basically, slightly younger than your mom. All right, our next question is a random category question for 10 normal points. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's, that's Before right. we do that. Before we do that. Aaron has to hit sword true. points. Yeah, yep. that's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, domestic violence aside, our next question is a random category question for 10 normal points. What is the common thread? Oh, my God. A- Apples. Fire hydrants, Darth Maul. Omar. Jack. Omar, what you got? Red. What? Red is correct. <laughs> I totally said my name first. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, no, it, it was pretty close, but I think I, I had <laughs> in the in the edit, if I had to flash Red. up an apology, I'll do it. But I think I heard Omar like a full <laughs> second ahead. <laughs> You have to do it slow mo. Mm. Do like a slow mo replay of that. <laughs> like, oh, a photo, like a photo finish. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> Our next question is a history question for 10 bow points. What was the first capital of China? Omar. Omar, what you got? Uh, Xi'an. Yeah, I think that's I think yeah. that's that's close enough. I think that's actually right though. Who are you hitting with those 10 bow points there? All right, so I can hit anybody, right? Oh yeah. All right. So, I got to keep Jack far away from me. So, sorry Jack, <laughs> you got to go. I'm already far away from you. <laughs> no, but all it takes is 10 points and you you're pretty close. <laughs> No, by far away, he means the grave. <laughs> yeah. He's like, as far as possible. <laughs> Another plane of existence, preferably. <laughs> All right, our next question is a culture question for 
10 sword points. I don't know why I blanked on the number. The number is the same every time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> At 23, what team has won the most Stanley Cups? Omar. Omar, who do you got? The Montreal Canadiens. Yeah, in hindsight, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't think oh. of the team name. I'm like, it's got to be that. <laughs> it's, it's like not even particularly close either. So We know it's the Canadians, but which Canadians? <laughs> yeah, which, which <laughs> team of Canadians? Oh, it's, it's... all of them. <laughs> Yeah, that, that that is like one of the worst sports team names ever. It'd be it'd be like if if uh, Raleigh had a team of anything, and it's just like the Raleigh North Carolinians. Okay, <laughs> Charlotte Bankers. <laughs> <laughs> that one's pretty uh, accurate. <laughs> yeah, I just but, recently but, found out that Charlotte's the banking capital of like North Carolina, and I guess I guess most of the East Coast. Yeah, Bank of America was well, founded yeah. in Charlotte. Oh. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I remember seeing a map of the United States by most recognized brand from each state. And for some reason, they put Bank of America, which was, you know, good one. Why not Pepsi? Yeah. yeah. You know what? I would say Pepsi as well. Yeah. Pepsi I mean, Texas. Bank... I would say oh, yeah. Pepsi. Yeah, but te- Texas Pete is a good con- even Texas Pete over Bank of America. Like it's, Bank of America, it's because Bank of America it. paid more than Pepsi did to have their name <laughs> as number one on the list. So, the <laughs> map brought to you by Bank of America. Yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, Omar, those were ten sword points. You can hit either Aaron or me. Oh shoot. Um. Oh wow. All right. I guess it's that time. Um. Let me take a look. <laughs> Board. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Aaron. All right. But she's like, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, also, I meant to say this at the time, but for the first capital of China, I also would have accepted the letter C. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. All right. Our next question is a history question for 10 normal points. What civilization invented the bow tie in the 17th century? Omar. Omar, what you got? It was um, invented by the Croatians. Yes. Which is a European nation. And it like the way you say it sounds like it's just like some tribe you've never heard of. The Croatians. <laughs> it's like okay. Yeah. That sounds that, that that sounds like somebody that got wiped out by Europeans. It doesn't sound like Europeans. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. All right. Mm-hmm. Next well, question. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's probably it because that's yeah, Croatia. Croatia. Yeah, that's yeah. Where, you know, yeah. But, yeah. yeah. All right. Our next question is a a uh, science question for 10 normal points. Uluru, formerly known as Ayers Rock, is made of what type of rock? I don't know what you just said, but... Drew. Drew, what you got? All right. I'm probably going to mispronounce this. Is it Arcos? Yes, that is correct. For 10 normal points. I didn't um... hear anything you said. I'm like, all I heard was Ayers Rock. <laughs> Look, uh, between this and the capital of China and that dinosaur, I could have had a real killer spelling bee here. <laughs> 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 All right. All oh, the spelling bees are so much fun. Our next question is a random category question. <laughs> we are going to do pointless debate. Uh, we are going to divide you into two teams, Omar and Drew versus Aaron and Jack. Omar and Drew will have first pick, but we will rotate. It'll be Omar, then Aaron, then Drew, and Jack will close us off. The prompt is Pirates versus Ninjas. Each of you will have a minute to make your case. Omar, since you're at the top of the scoreboard, would you like Pirates or Ninjas? You know what? I'm going to go ninjas, actually. 
Ninjas. All right. Shock, <laughs> shocking. It's funny right now. That's for sure. All right. Well, give me. I mean, obviously not with me. You know, I have the athletic um, and like balance coordination of like a broken tree branch, but you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but ninjas, ninjas have it. Exactly. False. <laughs> Freaking red. <laughs> well, hey, stop making your case now. <laughs> With they're free time so, here. They're just so rad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Omar. Uh, whenever you're ready, uh, I'll start the clock. All right, I'm ready. One minute. Go. Okay, so we're talking like history's greatest assassin versus a dude who, you know, Dies because he didn't have orange juice. What a weak, what a so what a loser, so weak. You know, who want to be a pirate? We can be a ninja. You know, pirates can't even walk. A ninja, you just be upside down for no reason, and you can disappear if you want to. I mean, I'm only talking benefits. Sure, you might be shorter than five feet tall, not a big deal. You can fit in so many places, pirates. They just fall off stuff, you know, like ask a pirate to hang upside down. Dude probably die also because of no orange juice. You weak. <laughs> That's my case for why ninjas period. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Aaron stretching. She's getting serious. <laughs> All right, Aaron. Uh you will have a minute to make your case for pirates. Uh let me know when you're ready. Good? Yeah, ready. All right. All right, and go. In this world where prices are going up, you know, money is a big issue. We're heading into a really big crisis. And, you know, ninjas, I don't really think there's, like, much of a financial gain. Maybe it's more, like, principles. But piracy, there's some financial benefit in this line of work um you know you're not doing the same thing every day ninjas have their set of skills and that's like it but you never know the pirate like you might be fighting off a sea monster or um just shooting off the east indian trading company or um you know just being off the coast of wherever really um you might make it into a couple textbooks too so you might have your own primary sources. <laughs> they are uh, uh, your, uh, uh, figure I'm... of ass. <laughs> oh. It's okay. I wish to do more things than ninjas. As if I don't do things besides eat rice. <laughs> and, right. stuff. and oranges, apparently. True. True. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready to make your case for ninjas. Ready? I'm ready. All right, go. All right, so yeah, pirates, they can steal because they're pirates, but ninjas can kill whoever they need to to take what they want because they're unstoppable. They can sneak in there unseen, <laughs> slice their throats, take all the loot for their own bidding. They can do whatever they want. And they're also highly respected by the emperor. Pirates are hated by everyone. Not only the government, but most people too. I'm just saying. And then also, like Omar said, pirates don't have orange juice. They eat bread with maggots. <laughs> <laughs> All they have to drink is ale. Time. Did you say air? Ale. No, he said he said ale. Oh, ale. I thought he said air. They drink <laughs> ale and maggot bread. Apparently, All they drink is air, bro. <laughs> <laughs> air bread. <laughs> All right, Jack. You got right, the last Jack. word. Yep, I'm ready. All right. Okay, start. Okay. How many famous ninjas do you know? Zero. How many famous pirates are there? Hundreds. Let's see. Jack Sparrow. 
even fictional p- fictional pirates. Do ninjas even still exist? Pirates are still pirating right now. Probably as we are having this show, they are pirating something. <laughs> pirates still still exist. It doesn't matter if they have orange juice; they can just drink ale. <laughs> ale has citrus in it, <laughs> and. Like Aaron's point, they have financial gain. There is literally buried treasure everywhere. What do ninjas <laughs> live off of other than rice? How much Sweet. more time do I have? <laughs> <laughs> Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Pirates are famous. Ninjas are ninjas are dumb. Pirates are famous <laughs> to me. Dead. Hey, but they're still famous. <laughs> you ask Stop. are ninjas still around and you don't even know. That's how good ninjas be. <laughs> ninjas just be everywhere. And you might you might not even know. Pirates are everywhere too. They just love the limelight. <laughs> no, only bad pirates are around now. But they're Small still pirates. pirates. <laughs> but they're still pirates. Hey, you have no clue how many ninjas are around, you know. I don't really be out there in Japan, but <laughs> if I was hypothetically if, like so ninjas are, really, are, you know, are like, just Ninjas are concentrated into one area. Pirates are everywhere. Listen, listen. If you're watching this show on YouTube right now, the margins you may have noticed are black. There are five ninjas hidden in those margins. And with the way the scoreboard is acting, I will become a pirate to get a better scoreboard. So <laughs> that's uh that's Why don't you become right. a ninja? Yeah, apparently ninjas ninja don't have Ryan. anything. But pirates because, are more fun. Because pirates have a uh, lower threshold for acceptance. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody can be a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the training. But only the best can necessary. be a ninja. <laughs> okay, okay. Time to render my judgment on pirates versus ninjas here. I, if only because of the... <laughs> Ninjas just be hanging upside down. Comment. <laughs> I'm sorry. I gotta give it to the ninja team here. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just bam uh, upside down. You don't even know why. <laughs> they don't know why either. That's why. And look, look, <laughs> look, 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 look. I'm partial to pirates here. Like I, I walked in thinking this is a cakewalk for pirates, but what? Ninja side just put up a great. great... You guys didn't even mention Jack Sparrow. Yes, we did. Said Jack, Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. <laughs> that was the first pirate he mentioned. Yeah. He didn't yeah. mention Blackbeard, like no, because hey, Jack Sparrow is the most famous well, pirate right now. <laughs> we didn't even have to. It was in your mind anyway. Yeah, I, I, I gotta say. I gotta say though that the point about pirates having financial gain and the point about pirates actually being famous was really good, really good. Ah, fun one. Are good fun enough one. apparently. Probably well, more ninja <laughs> video games than pirate video games. That's because pirate video games are hard to get right. Yeah, probably because you got to born to do so many things wrong. But you know what it is. <laughs> Like, what other ninja games do you know other than Ninja Gaiden? <laughs> That's the great <laughs> question, bro. Ninja Gaiden 2? <laughs> ninja Not, Gaiden no. the third one? <laughs> ninja Turtles? Look, look, Metal Gear Solid is just ninjas with guns. Sometimes, also, sometimes just ninjas. Sometimes yeah, just Metal, ninjas. Metal Gear Rising <laughs> Revengeance. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Our next question is a culture question for 10 bow points. What is the highest grossing movie franchise of all time? True. True. The Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah, I mean, it, duh. Yeah. All right, Drew, 10 bow points. Where are they going? Since you know, we all have to keep the scoreboard on our they, own. It can now. be anyone this time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go, Aaron. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, dude, your scoreboard's not even like updated. Only for me because now. she texted me and said that she's gonna beat me. So I'm gonna change the logs of my house tomorrow. So. Be like, good luck getting that iPad charger back. <laughs> mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> USB see you later. Call your friend on the <laughs> All right. Our next question is a culture question for 10 bow points, and this is getting way out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> Who painted the famous painting The Scream? Oh, Aaron. Yes. Um, Bango. Omar. True. Uh, Dang it. Omar, what you got? Edvard the Munch. Yeah. Yes. Which sounds Munch. like an alias. <laughs> 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 Who are you hitting on, Mom? squiggly lines confused with the other squiggly lines. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to go with Jack. I'm going to be honest. When I first Googled this, I thought it was Van Gogh, too. That's similar I to also guess Van Gogh based on how the painting looks. Exactly. Yeah. It it, it doesn't look un-Van Gogh-ish. <laughs> like, Un-Van Gogh-ish. <laughs> It's a, that's the technical Ooh. art term. <laughs> <laughs> I learned it at the art museum. <laughs> All right, our next question is a random category question. We are going to play single card poker here. You will be using your points to bet. Uh, Jack, I, I don't know how you're going to do this. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> you can just fold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the way this works, fold anyway. <laughs> yeah, we got one round of betting here. Everybody knows each other's cards, but not their own. Uh, you try to the highest card wins. Ace is high. Um, we never. It, I promise you, in in the Raw Quiz Show, aces will never be low. <laughs> That's just wrong to me. All right, but uh, you get the general gist of it. One round of betting. Uh, Let's go reverse scoreboard order here. Jack, first bet. Check. <laughs> Aaron, first real bet. Um, ten. You don't points. have to. Okay, ten points from Aaron. Uh, Drew, would you like to place a bet? Yeah. Um. I'm going to go 10 points as well. Okay. So that's 20 points in the pool. 10 from Aaron, 10 from through Omar. I'm do you like right now. <laughs> Omar okay. doesn't play this game anymore. First time it would spun it for me. I couldn't have been literally happy. Okay, maybe I could have. Anyways, <laughs> I was so... so second so, time... Oh, I'm out. <laughs> Okay, I'm not okay, calling okay. their points. So, Omar, can you reveal who had the higher card between Aaron and Drew? Yes, it was Drew with the King of Spades. Yep. What card did Omar have? Oh, he had James's card. Oh, four. Four. <laughs> four of Spades. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so Aaron's going to lose 10. And then Drew's going to gain 10. He's going to get his own points back. So he, it's only a total gain of 10. It could have been worse. Could have been worse. What card but, did uh, I have? I probably had like a, a 10. You had a seven, seven of diamonds. diamonds. Oh, okay. So oh, Drew was killing everyone. Aaron, you had a three. Oh. <laughs> three of spades. <laughs> Look, it's funny because I, I, I did the random number generator for the HP. And I was like, oh, good. It didn't totally screw Aaron over this time. And, and, then, <laughs> and then I drew the cards, and I was like, well. <laughs> well, maybe it did. <laughs> and then, like, it screwed Omar over twice. Yeah. <laughs> I, this, like, Omar, I prepared for you possibly being here next week, and your random number generator was the best it's ever been. <laughs> you just weren't here. <laughs> Man. Yeah, you got you got you got screwed by association taking James's card. <laughs> All right, our next question is a science question for ten sword points. How much blood is pumped by the human heart over a lifetime? Obviously, this is an estimate. Jack, I heard Jack first. One million barrels of blood over an average lifetime. Uh, I'm gonna enough to fill enough to fill. Oh, a unit of measure. 
<laughs> yeah, Drew, do you have it a says unit of one measure? million barrels yeah. is a unit of measure. <laughs> That's how they measure oil. Oh wait. Uh no, never mind. I don't Omar. Omar, what you got? Um oh shoot. Never mind. Um, See? What <laughs> unit of measurement? Uh I have leaders. Okay. Um <laughs> leaders. <laughs> It's a lot of code red Mountain Dew. I don't know if I even Googled the right thing, to be honest. <laughs> oh, Mars Googling its volume. Okay. Uh, mm, mm, nope, nope, nope. Never mind, never mind. Never mind. How much blood is pumped by the human heart over a lifetime? Mm, might be time for some maths. I have another guess if I can. <laughs> if she's done. <laughs> Drew. Drew, what do you have? 10 million liters? No. That's a nice I have, I have gallons. Oh, oh, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. Aaron, what you got? 200 million liters. 200 million liters is correct. All right, you can hit me or you can kill Jack. <laughs> Look at her and face. I, She's like, hmm. I, and I do mean kill. Like, <laughs> completely eliminate. <laughs> She is thinking hard. It's very tempting. Isn't it? Well, then, if I, I kill Jack, then I'm in last place. At least for this. <laughs> <laughs> she is humming. <laughs> okay. Me I'm and his. <laughs> she well, she wants it's, to sword, it's sword points, so you can only hit Jack or me. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Um, so. Then Jack. Yeah. Oh. And there we have it. Jack. Love you too, Jack, Aaron. Jack. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Let's see. We're gonna have to eliminate Jack here. Rest in power, Jack. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. <laughs> well, we know you're not getting the 200 million liters of blood, so on to our next question. I still argue <laughs> that barrels is a measurement. <laughs> mm-hmm. Look, only if we're conquering Iraq. <laughs> if you're a pirate. <laughs> if you're a pirate, a barrel is awesome. <laughs> what a stupid unit of measurement. <laughs> it's not the one I had written down, so it doesn't count. <laughs> All right, our next question is a history question for 10 sword points. Who was the first African American in space? Omar. Uh, Omar, who do you have? I don't want to butcher his name, but it's. It, it, it feels like it'd be pronounced like Guyam Blueford. I'll give it to Omar. Uh, it was Omar. Why? Who... He's already winning. Well, it's sword points, so. You're going to stab me or Drew? I'm going to stab people. Oh, Drew. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, our next question is a random category question. Uh, Jack, you don't have to complain this time. Oh, it's a Pictionary? It is (laughs) Pictionary. All right, as per usual, Pictionary... Uh, just say whatever you need to say. Uh, you don't have to wait a turn or anything. Just uh, Jack, really? <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh boy! Oh boy! 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 Oh, come on! A person oh with gosh. ears. Frog. Frog. Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Jack, for real. Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> it does look like Winnie the Pooh. Oh, okay. It looks like a bandana. I'm going to go Jack Ninja Sparrow. Sparrow. No. No. Oh, is this not? Oh, is this a girl with hair? No. No, I'm just a terrible artist. <laughs> I am. A pirate. <laughs> it's a pirate. It's a ninja. Sean White. <laughs> <laughs> Is this Washington over the the Delaware? Yes. Nice, yes, it is. Aaron. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! Honestly, Ryan, that's pretty good. Yeah. The hair, there's no you know, way. I gotta say, I think my Sean White guess was pretty close. Yeah, 
It totally it was... looked like a pirate, though. <laughs> it did. It Man, did. I am I... proud of that. I am so <laughs> proud of that. I got the last Pictionary, too. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, those were sword points, and I'm your only viable target, so okay. that's how that goes. <laughs> She's like, okay. <laughs> On to kill her second person. Um, On her second kill. <laughs> serial killer That's in the rock. Pirates and ninjas have That's common. what pirates do. <laughs> Plunder. <The> Venn diagram. <laughs> That's what the image could be for this episode. It could be like pirates. And everything ninjas. we pirates. said for pirates and everything we said for ninjas. Killing. And then kill. <laughs> It's like looting over here, <laughs> stealth over here, cannons over here. Orange juice. Oh, orange uh, juice. Ki- right. S- killing and swords. Killing and swords. That's it. Yes. You're right. <laughs> right and funny there. scarf scarf headwear. <laughs> yeah. That is true. Uh, uh, did you know there's actually a practical purpose to the eye patch? A practical purpose? What? Yes. So below decks, the lighting is very poor, right? Uh-huh. Um, and and your eyes take a moment to adjust when you get below decks. But if you're wearing an eye patch, one eye is already pre-adjusted to the dark. Yeah, that seems super specific to wear an eye patch when you would lose all depth perception wearing it everywhere else. Nobody <laughs> said pirates were smart. It's smart in theory. It's dumb in practice. It's, I know one of my neighbors <laughs> one got shot with an airsoft gun in the eye, and he had to wear a uh, eye patch. Mm. It was pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. Did you call him Jack Sparrow for a while? Yeah, no, he kind of looked like that dude from Austin Powers. <laughs> <laughs> number t- number two. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I, I, I gosh. S- s- side story here. I, me and my friend Zach. Went to the mall one time, and on a dare, I was wearing an eye patch, um, and he was wearing a leather jacket. And, and w- as we're going up the escalator, he says, "We look like two incompetent bad guys in a family movie, like, <laughs> like Home Alone like, level yes, incompetent." I, <laughs> like, I was like, "Oh no, that's exactly what we look like." All right, our next Calling question. Kevin in the mall. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Our next question is a culture question for 10 sword points. How many Call of Duty games are there? 11. Aaron. Like it. True. Aaron, what you got? 19. 19 is correct. And that was, again, sword points. So you're well, you're well on your way to killing me, if that <laughs> makes you happy. <laughs> Um, it's just gratifying to get questions like that before certain people. Drew. <laughs> um, certain people as I call you out, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan. Uh, I know, it's coming. Like, Look, it, it's just a miracle I didn't die first. <laughs> All right, our next question is a history question for 10 bow points. What civilization... Is considered the first to use a bow for battle. Omar. Omar, who you got? The Egyptians. The Egyptians, yes. That is correct. Um, Ten bow points. Where are they going? Um let me, just, let me see what we got here. Uh they're gonna go for uh Aaron. Ooh. Sorry, fellow. Might... Sometimes it'd be your own. <laughs> I might not even be the second to die. <laughs> Let's see. Is there uh, mathematically? Yeah, there's still room for people to die. <laughs> All right. Our next question is a science question. You knew it was coming at some point. Oh, frick. Uh, how many Golden Gate bridges does it take to reach the moon? <laughs> <laughs> All right, if I can do this math correctly, <laughs> Jack is just Jack is just happy to not have to do the math. Oh, I could probably get it before he does. 
Omar. Omar, what you got? 140,529.412 miles. This is the first time yeah. it has ever been that specifically accurate. <laughs> did, Most he of the say, time... did he give you a count and then say miles when it's how many Golden Gate bridges? <laughs> oh, frick. I meant, I meant, I meant bridges. That, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> Look, right man. now, the fact that I did that math correctly... <laughs> Down to down to the decimal point. That never happens. That <laughs> never happens. Most of the time, I just accept a slight level of deviance depending. Well, so it's on a pretty even it. length for the Golden yeah. Bridge. So yeah. All right. Uh, those are ten bow points. Is Aaron dying? Drew getting hit, or me getting hit? Aaron, mercy does not live in this dojo. <laughs> We're out of here. <laughs> Uh, and Aaron has been eliminated from this episode. Now she's yeah. muted. She's just going to drop out and be like, all right, bye. Aaron has been... <laughs> What's What's on? On? Well, then, then she'll miss the most fun part, which is waiting for this to load so I can hit the elimination button. Riveting. All right. How many how many ads have you had to watch before you get them to your <laughs> points? <laughs> no, no ads. It's just slow. <laughs> All right. Our next question. A culture question for 10 normal points. What is the name of the famous Twilight Zone episode featuring William Shatner? Shatner? Shatner. Drew. Drew, what do you got? Nightmare at 20,000 feet. That is correct. Ooh. 60. 60. Drew. Oh my gosh, Jack's background. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron's so mad at, at all of us, she's just like, screw the camera, I'm done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Our next question. A science question, also for 10 normal points. Last chance that's going to happen because it's violent from there on out. What is the bite force of a hippopotamus? Omar. Omar, what do you have? The hippopotamus bite force measures 12,600 KPA. I don't know what KPA is, but I guess that's bite force. I don't know what KPA is either. Let me uh, <laughs> let me double check that answer real quick because I, sure. I had it. That's what I have too. Um, if that's technically correct, I'll take it. But Drew, what is your, the answer you have? One thousand eight hundred and twenty psi. That is what I have. However, <laughs> if uh, well, okay. what was the number you had, Omar? I had 12,600 uh, KPA. KPA. Uh, that is correct. It, it's not what I wrote down, but it is correct. I'll take it. Boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> that is the least enthusiastic boom shakalaka I've ever heard. <laughs> no, believe me, it's enthused right now. <laughs> you, know, you know what that just reminded me of, Omar? Is that game, what was it, NBA Street? On like PlayStation, and oh, have, like it? a big dunk, and be like, Boom. <laughs> okay. NBA and NFL Street were great, great mm-hmm. games. Terrific. Games. All right, our next question is a history question for ten sword points. The lake of the Lady of the Lake was on what mythical island? Drew. Um. Drew, what you got? Avalon. Avalon is correct. That is for 10 sword points. I assume you're going to hit Omar. I'm actually going to hit Ryan. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) Okay. Well, uh, I think that technically means Omar wins, but... uh, I think I think it's funny that the Lady of the Lake, when I googled that, came up with a place in Mooresville, North Carolina. (laughs) (laughs) 
Camelot's just a county. <laughs> it's not even King Arthur. It's like I know County Commissioner Arthur, Back, Backwoods, North Carolina. <laughs> we got a round table because it's a big wire spool. <laughs> All right, our final question for the night. Uh, I'm going to bring everybody back for it because it's just too fun to to have everybody sit out of this. Wait, yeah. when Drew uh, hit Omar just now, oh, Omar was winning. Okay. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So uh, it is the elimination game. Uh, I'm just going to bring everybody back for it. So uh, no, uh, you won't win or anything, but uh, you, you're free to participate. But if Drew go, if Drew gets this, he'll tie. We're gonna go Omar, Drew, me, Aaron, and then Jack. All right, Omar, start us off with Batman villains, <laughs> Mister Freeze. <laughs> oh, hands up! By the way, oh. Drew, Clayface, oh. uh, Riddler, Aaron. Um, the <laughs> out of here. <laughs> There's like 500 freaking There's Batman like, villains. But like, you still had Joker and Penguin. And... I know. I, I know. I was thinking of Cillian Murphy, and I was like, "Who is that?" And then I Scarecrow. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. yep. You got like 50 billion mobsters that are named. So. You know, <laughs> so... There might as well be like two for someone who has no idea. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So all, right all right, all right, all right, all right. Jack, all right, all right. Jack, start us off with famous reindeer. Uh, Blitz. <laughs> Omar. Rudolph. Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron's like, Let- now you're never getting this charger. <laughs> Jack, Jack. Yes. What? Why did why didn't you leave Blitzen for Omar? <laughs> it's true. It was just the first one that came to my mind as I said it. Yeah, I'm very familiar with Blitzen. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even remember if I've been eliminated, but I'm just going to eliminate myself here for the sake of fun. Uh, well, who's left? Yeah. It would just be me, you, and Omar, I think. Yeah. Since yeah. Shrew so, couldn't think of a reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> I, you really messed us up by, by saying Blitzen first. <laughs> Because if you'd done Dasher, we'd have just gone through the yeah, song. The song. Yeah. Oh, I know, but that's why I didn't go with the song. <laughs> I didn't want everyone to remember it. <laughs> it's not like, like at the end of that song, you're done. Like I don't know what else you would name after that. <laughs> Famous Reindeer. <Yeah. laughs> then you just start singing the song. Yeah. What do you call All right, um, <laughs> The most famous. Uh, <laughs> so uh, Drew got eliminated. So Jack would be next in the rotation. Fictional detectives go. Dick Tracy. Omar. Batman. Jack. Really, Batman? <laughs> now I can't think of anything because you just <laughs> Batman. Batman's not a detective. Oh. Yes, he is. Well, he <laughs> is. <laughs> Yes, he Dude, is. Alfred is more of a detective. Oh, than Batman. and you know who Batman learned from? Ninjas. <laughs> mm. Mm. And, and what happened to all those ninjas? They all you know died. what? That Pirates are still in existence. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing. Look. Batman dedicated his entire life to defeating land pirates and still can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Batman learned from ninjas. They all lived in like some crappy shack. A bunch of kids found a pirate ship and had enough to buy their whole neighborhood in Goonies. <laughs> I've never seen the Goonies, actually. You've never seen Goonies? Oh, uh, shocking. Never. <laughs> well, guys, that is it for this round of questions. 
don't forget to like, subscribe, share. I want to thank all of uh, the combatants tonight. It was fun. We actually had some bloodshed. I appreciate that. It was a blast, everyone. Thank <laughs> you. And I have a comment question, if you would. Uh, another pointless debate, but this one strictly for the comment section. Give me your best pitch on tacos versus pizza. Stake your claim and choose wisely. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Thank you, everyone. This has been Raw Quisha. Later. What did you say? Later. <laughs>